On election day, August 1st, 1946, shooting broke out at the jail in Athens, Tennessee. The battle that ensued was a battle for liberty for machine politics, a battle to reinstate the rule of law. For nearly half a century, Tennessee had been controlled by various political machines. Memphis Mayor Ed Crump controlled a statewide political machine. The machine that controlled Athens in McMinn County was run by State Senator Paul Cantrell and the Sheriff, Pat Mansfield. In the spring of 1946, Athenian veterans returning from World War II saw the illegal activity and decided to put a stop to it. They entered their own slate of candidates in the upcoming election and promised the people of Athens that the election would be fair. On August 1st, Election Day, the GI set up poll watchers at voting precincts all around the city. Just before voting started at 7.30 a.m., one of the poll watchers asked to see that the ballot boxes were empty, as the law stipulates. He was denied. All day, poll watchers around town witnessed illegal voting activity. The deputies even denied a black man the right to vote and shot him as he persisted in arguing his right. Whenever a poll watcher objected or resisted in an attempt to uphold the law, he was injured or arrested. At 4 o'clock p.m., the voting ended and the ballot boxes were taken to the jail. When the poll watchers asked to witness the counting of the ballots, as the law stipulates, they were again denied. By 9 o'clock that evening, the GIs had armed themselves and taken positions around the jail. A shot was fired around 9.10 p.m., and the shooting didn't end until 3.30 the next morning, when the GIs used dynamite to blow off the jail's porch. When the GIs entered the jail, it was obvious that the ballot boxes had been tampered with. Only one remained sealed. The votes in that box favored the GI ticket 3 to 1. A few days later, the GI candidate for sheriff, Knox Henry, was sworn in. The Battle of Athens was the defining event that brought around the destruction of machine politics in Tennessee, thus restoring the rule of law. When Sheriff Mansfield resigned, the McMinn County machine was virtually destroyed. The GIs taking a stand against the political machine controlling them gave other reform-minded citizens the idea that they didn't have to submit to the tyranny of machine politics and inspired them to challenge their local machines.
the governor on the phone right now, boy, or you will be looking for a job. Then you tell him it's Tom Cantrell and it's an emergency. All right, how many of them are out there? Well, it's hard to tell. Every ten minutes, another farmer with a shotgun pulls up. Yeah, yeah, Earl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you better believe it's important. I got a bunch of renegade veterans with guns surrounding my jail. They're trying to steal the ballot boxes, that's what. No, no, I don't know how many. There's a there's a hundred of them, maybe, maybe two hundred. Look, I need some help and I need it fast. Yes, Earl, I have men, but I don't have enough to... Yeah. Yes, all right, you, you just hurry, you understand? Someday we'll see how fast I move when your back's up against the wall. Cover the window. What do you say? I'm going to mobilize the National Guard. We just have to sit tight and wait. In the meantime, let's do what we came here to do. Open it up! Tom! This is George Meade. We want two of your deputies to come down. Unarmed with the ballot boxes. Set them right down here in the middle of the street. We'll take them. Do an official count, then we can all go home. Now, if I don't see that ballot box come through that door in one minute, we're going to open fire. You got 60 seconds. 20. You're out of your mind, George. We're a law here, not you. The National Guard's on its way, and they're going to... Who fired that shot? Till help comes. You heard what they said. As soon as the National Guard gets here, they're going to shoot first, ask questions later. We'll go to prison, George. They don't kill us first. We've got to get those ballot boxes out of there before the guard gets here. If we can do that, that's just a matter of time before we get a chance to tell our side of the story. Old town's our witness. So what are we going to do, George? The brick's too solid. We can't shoot through it. They can stay in there all night. We'll just have to blow it. on you, Johnny. Let you walk away. Nobody blame you for staying away. It's a different when it's a war, right, George? Yeah, but it shouldn't be. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this to get rid of Cantrell. I'm doing it because this is my town, too. Put your head down, amigo.
Where is he? I swear, he, he ran down the stairs and out the back after the explosion. Out. Get out! Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. 